Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at another unique item um, and this one is the Lenimo Sash. The Lenimo Sash is a relatively low level sash and the Lenimo Sash is also something that uh, a lot of people just can't seem to find. I don't know why in particular the Lenimo Sash seems to be so rare. Uh, maybe it's due to its much lower level. Maybe uh, sashes in particular aren't easy to find. Um, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's interesting uh, because generally you tend to find it in Act One normal difficulty, but um, but it can be found in other places. Um, unfortunately, because of all the other unique items that drop and all the other times that you'll see other things like belts and and troll belts and and, and, and uh, basically as each one of the new items is added to the list, it um, it tends to be difficult to locate. Um, it, you're generally only going to find it, if from what I remember, in normal Act 1, uh, for the most part, because that's where the most sashes do, in fact, drop. So if you go, uh, with a high magic find character and you kill a lot of monsters in normal difficulty Act 1, you, you usually will see it, um, at some point. Um, now it can spawn ethereal, and when it does spawn ethereal, that is very sad, because unfortunately there is no way to make an ethereal belt into an indestructible item. So unfortunately, it's pretty much just use it and then throw it away when it breaks. And, and Or you can just keep it as a Holy Grail item, just to say that you've, uh, you've found an ethereal Lenimo Sash. Now, the level requirement on this is very low at level 7, and the defense, of course, is extremely low at level at uh, 2. And uh, one of the biggest downsides to this belt is the absolutely minimal belt slots so as you can see here only a total of one two three four five six seven eight slots so uh so very 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 low especially when you compare that to a full belt slot belt which has a lot more slots however this does have some very interesting effects for a low level character uh, most notably um is the regenerate mana so we have regenerate mana 30 percent on this particular belt which is huge. And um, and you might not understand how Regenerate Mana works, so let me go over it with you. So when you are looking at Regenerate Mana, um, do not think about Regenerate Mana as a um, like flat amount. It is always dependent on the mana that you have in your pool. So the more mana you have in your pool, the greater the effect will be. Um, so those characters who have relatively small mana pools will get relatively no bonus from this. And the interesting thing about this is that um, the plus 15 mana on this particular belt um, has, assists this. So it gives you mana to help you regenerate faster. Um, and this is uh, this is very, very cool. Um, so the more mana you have, the more regeneration you get. The more regeneration you have, the more regeneration you get. And if you stack both of them in tandem together, you will end up with some really nice high numbers. Um, we also have all resistances 5 on this particular belt and uh, plus 1 to light radius. At level 7, it is an extremely powerful belt. Um, when you start to level up, um, you will definitely miss these potion slots, especially when more belts become available with larger amounts of potion slots. So what do you do to fix this particular issue? Well, you need to upgrade it. Um, upgrading this item is uh, relatively inexpensive, and it's something that can be done for some fairly cheap runes. So upgrading this belt will require a shale rune, a tail rune, and a perfect diamond. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do this real quick. So uh, so taking our Lenimo Sash using the three items here uh, we transmute this and we will end up with a lenimo demon hide sash which is has a level requirement of 29 now the level requirement has gone way up but so has the belt slots you can see here now we have maximum belt slots which with this sash and uh, honestly the 15 to mana and the regenerate mana 30 percent are really the money makers here the rest of the stats on this item are not really important the defense is not important the resistances that it has is not important and neither is the light radius the entire purpose of this belt is to give you an ability to regenerate your mana faster and uh, if used in tandem with other items of similar effect like for instance Mage Fist Light Gauntlets that have a regenerate mana of 25%. Um, also, with other items that will give you pluses to your maximum mana, like for instance, if you were using a uh, Stone Ring of Jordan, or a Soge, uh, if you were using, um, what are those boots called? 
God bless it. I can silk weave boots, which also give maximum mana. If you have mana charms, um, every single point to mana that you get will increase the regeneration that you are getting from this belt. And, uh, and not only, um, sorceresses can utilize this of course any character that has uh, a rather large a hard time with keeping their mana regeneration intact can get a good use out of this belt so obviously you could put this on a uh, an elemental druid um, you could put this on a um, a caster paladin like a hammerdin um, you could throw this on uh, on a multitude of characters that have issues with with mana regeneration now, like I said, do keep in mind, though, that if you have a relatively small mana pool, it's not going to help you out that much. You need a larger mana pool for the 30% regenerate mana to take effect. And, um, and this is something I think a lot of people don't realize when it comes to regenerate mana. Um, the calculations for regeneration of mana are kind of com complicated, Compli just like this word, complicated. Um, they are a little bit complicated, and, uh, and to kind of reduce the complication i'm going to give you some numbers um based on your maximum mana so um if my maximum mana is at uh 100 um, and i have 50 percent regeneration i will be getting about 2.44 uh, mana per second um, if i have about 200 mana and i'm at 50 percent regeneration i will be getting or sorry, two, 100 mana is 1.2 per second, and 200 mana is 2.4 per second. 400 mana is 5 per second, and uh, let's say you have 1,000 mana, that's 12.4 per second. Um, now let's take into account um, other regeneration rates. So let's say we had 350% regeneration to mana. Um, we would get, with only 35 mana, we would only get 1.3 per second, which is awful. If we had 200 mana, though, we would get 7.4 per second. And if we had 400 mana, we would get 14.9 per second. And as you can see, as your mana, your maximum mana increases, the regeneration of the mana increases as well. Um, and so something like 30% may not seem like much, but when you have a larger mana pool, the larger the pool is, the more that regeneration is going to assist you in keeping your mana up. Uh, this is something that a lot of people don't realize when they're utilizing items like Insight. Insight is great, don't get me wrong, but if you had more mana to begin with, you probably wouldn't need Insight. Um, utilizing things like Warmth, for instance, which is a, uh, a, a sorceress skill, which can give you up to 282% mana recovery just at level 22. Um, and items like Lendimo Sash, uh, Mage Fist Gauntlets, and, uh, and various other items that have regeneration to mana and plus to your maximum mana, you can generally get your mana to a point where you won't have to worry about it very often uh, because if your mana is regenerating ridiculously fast, uh, like for instance, Let's let's give a, a consider uh, a number which is uh, probably more realistic, right? So we currently have 282% mana recovery on our warmth, right? Well, we are also running 30% on the belt and 25% on the gloves, uh, which gives us a total of what? Uh, 282 plus 30 beep, plus 25. So we're looking at 337%. So let's take a look at the 300% mana column here on this website, which I know you can't see, but that's okay. Um, and running just a modicum amount of mana of, say, 600, which sounds like a pretty easy pool to get, with 300% mana regeneration, we would be running a 19.9 uh, .9 per second. So we would be getting at back 19.9 .9 mana per second, which is a relatively high amount of mana a second. You're talking about over the course of a minute, 19.9 uh, .9 per second is going to multiply out to a total of 1,194, um, which means that we will have exceeded our total maximum mana in one minute by quite a large margin. Um, in fact, you could even do this equation a different way, and you could say, for instance, uh, I have a mana pool of 600 divided by 19.9, so it will take approximately 30 seconds to fill my entire mana pool. Um, which is not bad at all. You're talking about being able to regenerate your entire mana pool in 30 seconds. And you can enhance this number by enhancing your maximum mana. The higher your mana gets, the better your regeneration works. And this is why a sash like Lenumo Sash can be very effective. Um, especially because not only it gives you regenerate mana, it also gives you maximum mana as well. 
Now, let's take into account a low-level sorceress, right? So we've got a Sash, which is um, which is plus 15 mana and gives you 30% regenerate mana, right? So let's go to a level 1 sorceress. I'm sure we have uh, one somewhere around here. There we go. So here's our level 1 sorceress with only 34 mana. So 34 plus 15, which is going to be... Um, was it 49? So 49 mana, which means she's going to be rocking 49 mana with a regeneration rate of essentially 30%. So she's probably going to be getting about uh, back about a half mana point per per second, which isn't really very much. Uh, 0.5 per second is not a lot, uh, but she will regenerate her entire pool probably in about, in about 30 seconds anyway. Um, but it's a very small pool. But if we add more items to this, which will give us more mana, like for instance, items with sapphires in them, um, anything that has energy on it at a low level, um, it's going to increase this regeneration rate. And we can also tack on at least level one warmth for another 30%. Um, and by the time we hit level 7, when we are capable of using the Lenyamo Sash, we should be running at least level 1 warmth with 30%, plus the 30% on the Lenyamo Sash, which is a total of 60%. And, uh, and we should have probably at least 100 mana. So we'll be looking at something more like 1 mana per second. Um, and 1 mana per second is a lot better than 0.5. Um, and as you go forward with the Lenyamo Sash, you might realize um, very quickly that regenerating mana is actually not so difficult of a task, uh, especially if you, uh, if you build your character properly around that task. And before you know it, you won't need to chug mana potions anymore. Um, you will you will be much more independent in those terms, and you can focus your uh, mercenary's weapon on something more useful, uh, like for instance a um, an infinity if you can manage to get the runes. Um, also, if you do happen to be using an insight pole arm, which comes with meditation, um, now you know how to enhance the effect of that insight pole arm so that uh, your mana stays at full all of the time. Um, a lot of people will actually use an insight pole arm and complain that it doesn't keep their mana full. And this is the reason why. Your mana pool is a direct representation of your regeneration of mana. Um, I didn't mean for this to turn into a regenerate mana video, but uh, but Lenyamo Sash's main benefit is the ability to regenerate mana, so why not talk about it? Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching this video, and uh, one more time, before we leave, let's upgrade this to its highest form, shall we? I, I was just about to leave without doing this, and you know what? Let's just go ahead and upgrade this one more time to its, uh, its ultimate form, shall we? Um, and now we have the Lenimo Spiderweb Sash, which is uh, which is now 55 defense and uh, and 50 strength requirement with a level requirement of 58. Um, and I suppose if you were going to use this at level 58, it would uh, it would be worth an upgrade. But I think uh, I think one upgrade really is all you need for this sash. And as always, thanks for watching.